This is about a bill that uh, protects, uh, or at least extends the, the right of protection and justice to uh, unborn children in Colorado. 60 plus thousand children are born here, and they ought to at least deserve, they do deserve the same protection under our laws that they would receive in 37 other states and on federal property. Um, frankly, crime victims deserve justice. Society demands justice. And unfortunately, currently, there's a significant gap in Colorado for providing justice. With that, Senate Bill 268, if passed, I think would do just that. Again, it aligns us with language that's at the federal level that is, uh, for the majority of the three dozen states that include similar uh, language in their statutes, and has been found um, uh, all the way up to, to the Supreme Court to protect a woman's right to her own health care choices, while at the same time providing rights to the unborn. Pretty simple. It Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> It, that was it. <laughs> it provides protections to unborn children from conception through live birth. How yep. do you define conception? Yep. You know, um, you don't actually have to because obviously in an incident where that is being determined, you're going to know that a woman was pregnant. It pretty much defines itself, as has been the case where these things have been adjudicated all across the country for probably more than a dozen years, which is how we know through case law uh, through multiple Supreme Courts at different state levels, all the way up to the Supreme Court, that, that the language works. Is that pregnancy? Is it implementation? Or is it fertilization? So, I mean, basically, this is based pretty much on the federal law, and it just says child in utero. I mean, it's pretty broad. Child in utero. If you can determine that somebody was pregnant, they're covered. They're covered under federal law. They're covered under 36, at least 36 other states, and there's a little bit of variation I mentioned 37. Uh, many of them actually just say unborn child. That's as close as they get to a definition. Some say fetus. Some, I mean, there is a variation. I would say for the majority of them, they say unborn child. The federal law says um, child in utero, which you could probably assume means unborn child. Why not explicitly ban personhood in this, as, did, as they did in the 2013 law? It's not required. I mean, it's not required. We're trying to emulate something that already works, that, something that's already been litigated, something that's already proven. So why would we stray from something that's already proven? And that's why this bill took several weeks to put together. We wanted to make sure that we have the strictest, tightest concept that provided for two things, which this does. Protection, or certainly justice, when an unborn child has become the victim of a violent crime and protection for a mother um, to make her own health care choices, exactly what this does. You said a mother's own health care choices. The Dems are, are criticizing this type of law for being used in other states mm -hmm. to prosecute mothers for non-health care choices, taking drugs during pregnancy, disregarding, well, I guess disregarding a doctor's uh, advice would be a health care mm -hmm. choice, but other actions that mothers take. Does, does the law protect women against that? It doesn't shock me that they're criticizing this. <laughs> Um, but we are actually, I think we have probably the, the strictest uh, exclusions right in the very beginning of the bill, which says uh, mother cannot be prosecuted for making any choice about her own body during her pregnancy. It can't, I don't think it can get any more clear than that. Would you be willing to change some of the language? I'm looking at California's, which kind of um, unlawful killing of a human being or fetus, if the term person ends up being problematic in the house, could you guys find a compromise to kind of get the end result? You know, I'm willing to listen to any proposals, and if you're offering an amendment, you know, I would listen to your amendment. <laughs> uh, if you were a legislator, I would also listen to your amendment. Um, the, the reality is, uh, we are, this is a process, as you know. This bill has a, a long journey and a short time to get there. And I've been very clear to the majority leader, uh, excuse me, to the, actually the majority leader in the House, to the Speaker in the House, to the minority leader in the Senate, uh, that if there's something in here that they think clarifies an issue, that we'd be welcome, uh, they, they'd be welcome to present it. So we'll see when they come. Uh, uh, other legislators as well, not just the leadership. I see you're facing opposition from Colorado Right to Life. Do you, a group you would normally align with. How do you feel about their criticism of your bill and 
Do you wish it could be? I, I think it's consistent with their uh, with their mission and their goals. But my goal here, just like obviously, I would assume the goals were of the other uh, legislatures that passed almost virtually identical legislation, was to provide that when there are two victims of a violent crime, that justice is available to both of them. Under Colorado law, justice is not. Any assurances the House will take this up? They seem to be opposed to it at this point. I think the 2013 law is adequate enough. Well, I guess we'll find out here in about three days if we can get it there that quick. You know, again, this is a this is the beginning of a uh, of a long process um, to get through two houses, and I've been engaging my colleagues on both sides of the aisle and um, in both chambers. Did Democrats have any input on the wording of the bill as it? I had some I had some discussions with some of my colleagues initially and um, considered them, and then you know we kind of synthesized as much input as we could from obviously dozens of laws and the federal law and the Supreme Court cases. Um, so I, I would say yes, part of this, uh, part of the consideration was intent. There is intent when you refer to any of these uh, crimes of violence when it's either a murder or an assault. Obviously intent is part of those and when you're referring to those crimes specifically in the statute, which is what this bill does, which keeps it pretty simple, the intent is part of that. Now, Have you, how does intent play out with knowing whether a woman is pregnant or not? Since obviously for the first part of pregnancy, it wouldn't be visible even looking at her. Um, not required. I mean, it, it's just that would be just a matter of fact, right? Did you did you hurt two people did you, under this bill? Have you reached out to the Wilkins family to ask them about their thoughts on this legislation? I have not talked to the Wilkins family. Do you plan to? You know, um, we've been working with a, a group of folks on this bill, and I've left it to some other folks to reach out. I didn't. Uh, this. Uh, the Wilkins situation brought a lot of attention to this, but this isn't the first time that we've considered this type of legislation. I think what it did was highlight to the entire state that this is a significant gap in an opportunity, in an opportunity to demand justice when there's two victims of a violent crime. You know, Democrats kind of say, look, there's a lot of extra penalties this, in the long run case, mm -hmm. the woman could be locked away. Talk mm -hmm. about what you see as the significance versus, you know, a murder charge right. versus just the extra penalties. So justice is not a scoreboard. It's not a Rockies game, right? If, 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 if justice were only about an objective number of what you could apply to a crime, then why would we have two criminal charges for every murder victim in Aurora? You're not going to get two dozen death penalties for one, for one criminal. You're not going to get... 50 life sentences that someone could actually serve. So again, it's not about keeping score, it's about demanding justice. You mentioned what this applies to. There's some concern, and I'm hoping you can clarify, that sure. this would apply across the criminal code, not just to murder, assault, and vehicular homicide. Right, vehicle homicide, vehicular homicide as well. Other things where if you, if you, if you could be tried um, for a homicide or an assault, through other areas, it would just allow you to be tried for both, for both victims, under these specific situations. But this definition of person wouldn't apply to, say, child abuse or mandatory reporting or other criminal statutes. It's, it's specifically tied to the existing violent crime statutes. So whatever they cover is covered. It basically is saying, and the unborn in all of these areas that we referred to in the bill. Just that first paragraph. Absolutely. Just like has been used in countless other states. Any other topics? Sure. Um, I, your uh, business journal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your subscription. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I know that you, a couple of weeks ago, introduced the Workforce Development Package as a bipartisan package. Your Republican colleagues in the House have been fighting a number of these measures pretty hard, saying this is not the government's job to pick winners and losers. Mm -hmm. uh, did the Senate Republicans view this differently, and do you think any of these bills might have problems when they get over here? You know, that's why this whole process is set up with two houses, and um, this is not the first time that you've seen a difference of opinion expressed on a, a bill or a package of bills, and if you don't believe me, look at the budget. So, um, you know, again, there's a lot of them, and um, you know, just like some of the other issues that there have been a package of bills on, you found a collaboration on some, confrontation on others, and uh, you know, 
we got a couple more weeks to figure out a few of those. So no, I, I think uh, I think we're going to end up in a good place on on most of those. We had uh, a, a lot of consensus out of the out of the uh, out of the gate on those.